Hi, this is Adam from MakerState, and in this video, I'm going to sh walk you through the build for the Slingshot car that you can see here from the Material Engineering series. And this Slingshot car uses popsicle sticks to create the body, and then has plastic wheels and axles made of wooden skewers. And then we use a Slingshot that uses a, a rubber band and a popsicle stick hooked onto a paper clip to actually launch and move the car, okay? To make this project, we need three big popsicle sticks, three little popsicle sticks, four wheels, rubber band, paper clip, straw, and a wooden skewer, and then some tape, some scissors, and a hot glue gun, okay? And here, you just see I, I put a piece of paper out for the uh, place I'm gonna be gluing so I don't get glue all over my desk. Um, and I suggest you do the same. If you get glue on uh, something that you don't want to get glue on, you can use some isopropyl alcohol to get it off, um, but obviously we want to avoid that if possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out my three big popsicle sticks here like this and take two of my smaller ones and lay them across the top and bottom like so. So you know this is going to be my body lengthwise up and down and then uh, widthwise these smaller popsicle sticks are going to be where my axles and wheels eventually rest. We're going to use the straw to hold those in place. As you can see here, the straw, we're going to cut it up and attach it to the bottom of these and then eventually put the axle and the wheels there. But for now, we're going to put three small drops of glue, one, two, three, one on each popsicle stick. And then quickly, while that's still hot, take my smaller popsicle stick and just lay that on there and press it down. And I'm going to do that for each side out here. One, two, three. And I'm taking care just to lay this as evenly as possible. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I have the basic body of my, my car done. And this glue dries pretty fast. You need to give it just a few seconds for it to dry. Um, and now I'm ready to move on to my straw and eventually my axle. So I'm going to start by just cutting this. First, I'm going to cut this bendy tip off the straw because I don't need that. And now I'm going to cut the remaining piece of the straw in half, like so. And then with a small drop of glue in the center of each side, I'm going to place the piece of straw onto the small popsicle stick. So one there and one there. Great. Now I need to work with my wooden skewer here and make this a little bit smaller so that I can make two axles from it and each axle will be just a little bit longer than this popsicle stick. So I'm gonna cut this in half and the way I like to cut this in half, it's very hard to cut it in half just with the scissors if you try to go through it. So what I like to do is squeeze the scissors with the uh, wooden skewer inside and just try to kind of rotate it and break it down a little bit and don't have to cut through it all the way because after I do this with the scissors, just shave it down for a moment. Oh, that actually broke. But what I was gonna suggest is once you shave it down a little bit, you can twist it and it will break. Let's see if I have another one around here that I can just demonstrate with quickly. Here, so what I wanted to show you is that if you just work with your scissors and lightly try to score it a little bit like this, it's very easy then to just break it right at the point where you were scoring it. And this one didn't come out quite as even as my other one, so I'm gonna stick with my first one that I cut. But those are there are two ways you can cut these, these skewers, okay? So now with my skewers, I'm gonna stick them through these straws like so. and place my wheels on either side of each skewer and these should slide on pretty easily. One, two, I'll try to space these evenly. Three, four, and this one that goes on the pointed end, sometimes we need to give that just a little bit extra slack over there so that the uh, wheel is firmly on the skewer. And now what I'm gonna do 
is take my hot glue gun and just put a tiny drop of glue on each of the four wheels, like so. So as you're delivering this to your class, I suggest you have maybe one glue gun for every four or five students in your class, and then they can you know, work in groups and do this maybe almost assembly line style where they're taking turns with the glue gun as they go through the different parts of assembling this, okay? So now, after that dries, my car is basically done. The last things we need to do involve attaching this paper clip and then making a little slingshot so that we can fire it, okay? So first, I'm gonna work with this paper clip here. What I'm gonna do is just bend, watch how I do this, I just bend this bigger loop on the paper clip up like this. And then I'm just gonna lay that like so with the longer end going along my middle stick and then this little part that I just bent popping up. I'm gonna take a little piece of tape. Whoops. Let's get a nice piece of tape. And you can use any tape for this. You can use scotch tape or duct tape if you want to. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this and try to wrap it around this center red popsicle stick here. Like so, one time around. And there we go. So now that should be pretty secure. I'll squeeze that down a little bit just to make sure the tape is hitting the, the popsicle stick. And now if I tug on this a little bit, that's pretty firmly in place. And the last thing I'm gonna do is use another piece of tape to make the slingshot using my rubber band in my final popsicle stick, okay? So now I'm taking this popsicle stick, I'm putting a little bit of tape on it like so. Now I'm taking this rubber band and placing it just over the top of the popsicle stick. Whoops, like that. And I'm gonna fold this tape back down onto the stick and then squeeze all of the tape onto itself. And then, sometimes you might wanna do two layers of this tape. just to make sure it's sturdy. Or if you use duct tape or a different type of tape, you could probably get away with one layer, but now it's much stronger, good. And so now I can use this to slingshot this car around, okay? And if I really launch this, you're not gonna see it move, but um, now you get the idea of how to build this car, and after playing with it, you might have some ideas about how to rework this car or add to it or change you know different dimensions of it to make it move better and I definitely encourage you and your students to to try to do that as you build this after you after you some press after some play testing when uh, you decide it's time to move into the improve phase okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you and thanks for watching and I hope you watch the next material engineering video